Hi there, my name is Lee. I'm one of the guides here at uh, Down Cathedral here in Down Patrick. Uh, you're very welcome. St. Patrick is actually buried in the graveyard here. Uh, in the year, well, in the fifth century, Patrick uh, was coming to the end of his life. He had a dream that when he died, that his body was to be put in a coffin on the back of an ox cart. Then the, those ox were to be set on their way, and wherever they stopped, that's where, they were, that's where he was to be buried. So back then, that's what actually happened. The ox took off, climbed the hill here, and stopped, and this is where he's been buried. So this has been a, a place for pilgrimage for 1,600 years, and it's been a very significant church in Ireland. The first church that was here would have been a little wooden church with a defensive tower. If we look down at the town of Dan Patrick back then, it wouldn't be here. There'd just be a river going around. So you'd have had a place of faith, but a place of commerce and a place of safety. Now we're going to leap forward a bit forward. So this the, the develops over a period of time. And then 1100s and about 1138, uh, the first monastery is uh, developed here by some Augustinians. And then later we have where the invasion of uh, this area by John de Corsi, he was a Norman knight. In 1183, we see the establishment of a Benedictine monastery. And a lot of the buildings and the walls that you see date back to that time of the 1200s. So parts of this cathedral here today are actually 800 years old. Uh, they were, the monastery was established. There would have been uh, places for the monks to work, sleep, that have been farmland. So again, very much a place of worship and a place of commerce. Uh, and until the 1530s, the, it was a, a very safe and secure place. But in 1538, a man called Cromwell was in the area and saw an opportunity, came in and burned the cathedral down, which actually did stay a ruin then until 1787. Even though it was still a substantial place where people still came on pilgrimage for many, many years. Then in 1787, a man called William Ainsley became dean and had an idea that it was time to rebuild the cathedral. And he got together with different great families in the area, which would be the Marquis of Downshire being one of them, and to do a fundraising project. And around the church, we see plaques of different families who gave, and this was a, a, a given project, which actually lasted 40 years. And the actual completion of the entire building wasn't until 1829. So a lot of what you see around here today is, is the cathedral as it was back then, apart from obviously the area around me, which is a, a, modern, uh, a modern new interpretation of the altar space. Um, it's still a church in active use today. There's a congregation that meets here every Sunday. And St. Patrick's Day here, would, of course, would be a big celebration where we'd have four or 500 people come up to the, to the church and celebrate with us uh, a special day.